names of Kaufman and Hart were joined under the most brilliant succession of hits in the history of entertainment. George Kaufman and Moss Hart became the most successful team Broadway had ever known. When their collaboration ended, Moss Hart told all about it in his uncompromising autobiography, Act One. That, too, was a hit. Act One begins with a boy who had a dream. What would you really be willing to give up to have a hit on Broadway? An arm? Sure, but the left one. I need the right one for the pencil. That's right. Bald as a billiard ball. Sure, I'd be willing. Anything. A boy named Moss Hart with a dream nourished on nerve and nickels. And a man already numbered among the most successful talents of the theater, George Kaufman. This is the young author, George. Hi. Sit down. Mr. Kaufman is willing to work with you on the play, and uh, when can we have a working session? Well, whenever you'd like to, right away, any time, now. Anything else, George? That's all, except the second act. Mr. Kaufman, I would like you to know how much this means to me. The wonderful opportunity to work with you is the most exciting thing that has ever happened. Well, of course, why not? It'll wind up his play. You might just as well have said, by George S. Kaufman, he'll get all the credit. Precisely. Nobody will believe you had anything to do with it. The first play should be a solo effort. That's how you get your reputation. Right or wrong, I've made up my mind. Take a look out that window. You can see the marquee from here. Well, that may have a disadvantage. It's only going to take me 20 minutes to tell you. Hold now, it. don't say no until you've heard me out. Hold. I'm, I'm Hold. sure it can work, and I know I had no right to barge Hold in it. like this, but to Hold me, it's it. a matter of... Hold it! I, I promise to listen. This audience to know that 80% of this play is Moss Hart.